thing. Question number 12, uh, Darian Fenton. Thank you, Order. Mr Speaker. Uh, my question is to the Minister of Labour. What reports, if any, has she seen on the use of the 90-day trial provisions in the state sector? <laughs> the Honourable Dr Wayne Mapp. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Labour, I have received no formal reports specifically on the use of the 90-day trial period in the state sector. I am aware of the State Services Commission's guidance to chief executives not to contract out of their ability to use trial periods in collective contracts. I might add, Mr Speaker, I've also seen a report in the New Zealand Institute of Economic Research that showed 13,000 new jobs have been created due to the trial periods. Darian Fenton. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister, is she confident that her assurance to the House last year that, quote, unless employees want a trial period, they do not have to have one, close quote, is being applied in the state sector? The Honourable Dr Wayne Mapp. Yes, just because uh, there's been a guidance from the State Services Commission doesn't mean to say that in particular cases the individual contract between an employer and employee that a trial period would be automatic relates to the collective contract as a whole. Darren Fenton. Thank you. To the Minister, does she believe the 90-day trial period provisions are working as intended, given that Parliamentary Services has issued guidelines requiring no rights trial periods for all new parliamentary employees, when she told the House repeatedly that the fire at will provisions would only be in employment agreements by negotiation? The Honourable Dr Wayne Mapp. Uh, on behalf of the Minister, yes, the Minister stands by all her previous statements on this issue. Darren Fenton. To the Minister, does she stand by the assurances she gave the House last year that a 90-day trial period must be negotiated in good faith? And if so, does the State Services Commission direction to state sector agencies not to contract out of or restrict any application of a 90-day law meet that test? The Honourable Dr Wayne Mapp. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, yes and yes. Darren Fenton. Very good, very good. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does she think that parliamentary and out-of-parliament staff have the right to refuse a 90-day trial period, including those employed by National Party MPs? The Honourable Dr Wayne Mapp. Uh, the, use of, uh, the use of the 90-day period is always an issue between employer and employee, a matter of negotiation. And that... A order, point of order, the Honourable Mr Annette Speaker, King. I seek leave to table a letter from the National Collective of Independent Women's Refuges to Richard Wood of the Ministry of Social Development, dated the 4th of April, noting that their organisation is to lose $382,000 in funding from Torito, Advocates for Children and the Family Violence Education Fund. Leave us sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is no objection. And that does bring to a close questions for our answer. I call on Government Order of the Day number one.